Hey, I'm Cardi. I help emerging and struggling photographers that are committed to changing their current nine to five reality to the life of someone that gets paid for their ideas, their creativity, and their photography. I've been a working pro for 33 years, and I've been helping photographers just like you transition to working pros since 1995. And I'm here to help you create your ideal photography life. We all have a gift. Sometimes you might feel like you don't have one, but I promise you, you have one. You have a gift. Let me explain why this is so huge. When you understand how to get the most out of your gift, your life will open up like it never has before. Let's get into it. How do we get the most out of our gift? Simple. It's a three-part formula that has turned this shy photographer that did better in person and definitely didn't love being on camera into the one that brings you all this great content. Let me explain it simply. The first thing that we have to do is we have to discover our gift. You may be taking pictures, but your gift might be making photographs. Did you even know that there was a difference? If this went over your head, by the way, make sure that you watch my Are You Taking or Making Pictures episode of my podcast. You'll find it on my channel. I'll leave it in the video description. Okay, back to my story. In order for us to discover our gift, we have to accept the fact that we all have one. We don't all have the same gift, but we all have some gift. Do you believe that you have the gift for photography? Here's the reality. When we look at other people's gifts, it's easy for us to see the value in their gifts. It's easy for me to see how good you can shoot, how well you can speak, how strong you are, how athletic you are, how good you look. But here's the kicker. It's harder for us to see those very same characteristics in ourselves. So how do we stop doing that? What we have to do is we have to stop acting as if God gave everybody a special something but us. We have to operate from a place of knowingness. Then we add in this critical component. Remind yourself, I have a gift. Now, it's my job, job number one, to discover that gift. So what's my gift? I do this, I'm a professional photographer, blah, 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 forget about me. Because if you don't discover your gift, you're gonna be going around attempting to imitate other people's gifts. And the best that you'll ever be at acting on someone else's gift is a cheap imitation. You're probably here watching me because you already make photographs, so you already know that you have that gift. But if you stop your gift there, it creates a massive problem, which is why this next concept makes all the difference and will really help you understand the way this whole gift thing works. God gives one man one talent. He gives one man two talents and another he gives five. He gives one person one talent, yet another gets five? Just think of that statement. He gave to every human according to their ability. He gives you nothing that you can't handle. So how come some people can dance and sing and paint and make amazing photographs? But how come some people are given children with special needs? By the way, we all have special needs at some sort of level, at some sort of frequency. Understand that that special needs child, that was also a gift. God gives us gifts according to our ability to accept, discover, develop, and deploy those gifts. Here's something that you should definitely know. I wear thick glasses. I come from a family of nearsighted people. Both my parents, my brother, my sister, we all wear glasses. And I'm wearing contacts right now, by the way, at the moment. You don't see my contacts because... I started wearing glasses when I was eight. When I was a kid, I hated the fact that I had glasses because I continually got made fun of. Glasses weren't cool when I was a kid. At recess, one bully that I literally tried to hide from would find me, take my glasses, snap them in half, and pass two pieces back to me. As an adult, if God would give me a do-over and said, Cardi, you can have a life of a child again, this time without wearing glasses or getting picked on, I think I would choose to keep my past exactly how it was. And here's why. It developed the character and compassion that I have for people. And it gave me the ability to really see them. It was just one of the character builders that helped 
turned me into the photographer that I am today. Things don't happen to us. They happen for us. Discovering your gift alone is not enough. The second part of this formula is even more important. If we discover the gift of photography or design or illustration or whatever your gift is, and we don't do number two, which is incredibly important, and that is develop our gifts, we're messing up the entire process. God gave us a gift, but guess what? The gift that he gave us was not finished. It was not complete. Do you think the man upstairs is going to give you the idea to make your million dollars and then make it for you and hand it over? He gave us the gift of creativity and he gave it to us created, but he didn't give it to us completed. What was that magic solution when I used to shoot film and like, um, developer? When we used to shoot photographs on film and not even see them until they were developed. Come closer. Let me let you in on the biggest secret that you're ever going to hear on YouTube from a 33 year pro photographer. Your only role in life is to develop the gifts that you've been given. Oh my God. True happiness comes from discovering and developing your gifts. Oh my, it's as if it was hiding in plain sight. Once you discover and develop your gifts, don't miss out on the last thing. Without this last valuable step, you're neglecting the most important part of this equation. This could be the secret to you completely changing your reality from you sitting there right now watching me to having the type of career that I have. The last thing, and that's the most important thing. The most important part of this three-step formula, and that is deploy your gift out into the marketplace for profit. Once you've developed your gift, the last thing left to do is to deploy your gift out into the world to make the world a better place. Create your work for a specific marketplace. Top performing creatives use this very simple hack. Many spend so much time developing their gift for taking pictures, but no time executing ideas with their photographs. No time learning how to develop that gift of executing ideas so they can deploy it into the marketplace. And that's why so many photographers fail. We have to deploy our gifts into a marketplace that needs our value. When you do this, you truly have the ability to change lives, change businesses, and change the world with the work that you make and your gifts. Discover your gift, develop it, and deploy it. Do those three things and you'll get the most out of your gift of photography that you've been given. It's, if this, by the way, is the first time that you've ever seen me, I help emerging and struggling photographers shift their mindsets so they can build their skill sets, their tool sets, so they can actually build assets. I do this through immersive education here on YouTube. That sounds like something that you need. Please hit the subscribe button. It's free, by the way. Hit the bell icon to get notified, blah, blah, blah. And hit the like button if you like this video. I'm a content machine. Check out what I'm doing here for you on my channel. If you're wanting more help, by the way, than I can give you here on YouTube, check my education site. It's called The Cardi Method. I've developed a six-phase system to help photographers like you become working pros just like me. Learn more, by the way, about how you can become involved with my community in the video description. And look at thecardimethod.com. Thank you so much for taking the time to click this video. I know time is important. I hope this brought you value. I'll see you on the next video.